Plus, the lawyer who went to bat for a cop killer may now just be one step away from a very big job with the Department of Justice. We will speak to the lawmaker who is pleading with senators to go into this vote at least aware of the facts before they get to the vote on this individual. Danny Faulkner, as he lay on that sidewalk, looking up at the barrel of that gun, saw Jamal actually implementing his political power. Well, that was Senator Ted Cruz on the Senate floor today, arguing to block the nomination of this man, Degbo Adegbele. He is up for a job of leading the DOJ's civil rights division. The problem? Adegbele once defended cop killer Mumia Abu-Jamal, who was convicted of brutally murdering Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner more than 30 years ago. Senator Cruz is not alone in his fight to block this nomination. A Pennsylvania congressman is trying to educate senators on the facts of this case before they go in there for tomorrow's vote. He's using clips from a documentary on the murder to help make his case. Philadelphia police tonight are mourning the death of a young police officer shot and killed on a center city street corner early this morning. Officer Daniel Faulkner was killed performing a police officer's most routine and yet most hazardous task, a car stop. Police say that Faulkner stopped this car carrying William Cook, a street vendor, as it traveled the wrong direction on a one-way street in the heart of Center City's combat zone near 12th and Locust Streets. A scuffle began, and from across the street, police say, the murder suspect, Mumia Abu Jamal, came running and opened fire on the officer. Well, the congressman who distributed this film joins me now, Pennsylvania Republican Mike Fitzpatrick. Uh, congressman, welcome. Good to have you here today. Thank you, Martha. What is it that you want these members to understand about Adegbele, the attorney who is up for this job at the Department of Justice, before they vote? I want them to understand all the facts undergoing and underlying this case so that they're prepared when they go back to their states. They'll have to answer for this vote. They'll have to answer to their communities, and they'll have to answer to their police officers. The National Fraternal Order of Police has, uh, has made it abundantly clear this is a significant vote in their mind. Uh, either you're with the police officers in this case or you're against them. And I want to mm -hmm. make sure that they see the video because the widow of the police officer, Maureen Faulkner, was not given the opportunity to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. She was essentially kept away from the room. And she asked to be able to attend the actual Senate confirmation vote, which is now scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, the Senate leadership knew that she wouldn't be able to be there, but they scheduled the vote anyway. So we want to make sure that they have the facts, and we, we put the video before them, and we hope they take the opportunity uh, to familiar, familiarize themselves with all those facts. And Maureen was with us last night, uh, and uh, her story is incredible. And I commend you for bringing more light to this as well. But, you know, you have the other side of this equation, and Senator Leahy, who says that, that uh, Mr. Odegble is a fine attorney, that he did his job, he represented a client, and that that is what attorneys do and that everyone deserves representation. What do you say about that? Everybody deserves representation, and, uh, and certainly this criminal defendant had representation. Uh, the NAACP decided to put themselves into the case 30 years after it was over. And, you know, that was this nominee's right. Uh, he chose to do it. It was a, a case that uh, most attorneys probably would not have taken. But that does not qualify him now to run civil rights, to be the assistant attorney general for all civil rights under the United States Department of Justice. By choosing to represent a convicted and unrepentant cop killer 30 years after the fact, I think disqualifies you for other... Uh, positions within government because we all have civil rights and I would hope that the assistant attorney general would would stand up for the civil rights not just of convicted cop killers but for every American and especially every police officer who's out on the streets yeah. every day enforcing the laws. You know the people in your area uh, in Pennsylvania and Philly uh, are, feel very close to this story and it's very bipartisan in, in their support uh, of you and against uh, this nomination so we're going to continue to cover it here at Fox News and we thank you very much for being with us tonight sir. Thank you Martha.